Good day, everyone. My name is Chloe Tan, and I'm the website content writer at Healy Consultants headquarters that is based in Singapore. So today I'm here with my coworker, Grace Odiambo. She is one of our client relationship officers in our Malaysia office. Today she's going to talk about a Hong Kong engagement. Hi, Grace. Long time no talk. How are you today? Hi, Chloe. Hi. <laughs> nice to see you today. Yeah, it's pleasant, pleasant day where we're at. Is it nice weather in Malaysia? Yes, very cool. Um, I like it like this. Mm, good, good. Yeah. Um, so let's start this off. Um, could you please give us a brief summary about this engagement? What sort of business is the client involved in? And what were some of the objectives they wanted us to meet? Um, yeah, sure. So um, recently we engaged, actually we didn't engage this client. This is an existing client of, of Healy Consultants. Um, okay. It's just they have different entities with us. Right. So they have an existing company in um, Hong Kong. Right. And um, they decided to consolidate all their companies with Healy Consultants for some reason. <laughs> So okay. <laughs> um, they wanted us to transfer the company secretarial um, files from their existing company secretary to our corporate secretarial company in Hong Kong. Mm -hmm. So we assisted them to transfer the company. Um, they were with PwC in Hong Kong. Um, oh. I'm guessing they were not happy with their services or something just went wrong. I'm not so sure because I didn't uh, engage the client actually for this particular engagement. It was mm. done by um, Yekaterina. So mm. I just took over at the part where now to project manage the um, actual transfer, which uh, went quite smoothly. Uh, right. It was a very straightforward engagement. There was mm -hmm. no hiccups. We just had to transfer the files and appoint our company secretary mm. and provide them with a registered office address in Hong Kong. And wow. then um, the only things that were actually time consuming is that they needed to provide us with um, um, actually the, the documents that needed to be signed had to right, be right. Uh, couriered to Hong Kong. So that was what took a bit of time and we needed some notarized copies of the director's passports. Mm -hmm. So that's the only part of the engagement that actually took a bit of time. Mm. Um, yeah, so once the transfer in was done, the client also asked us if we could appoint for them a nominee director in Hong Kong. Mm. And they specifically wanted a Hong Kong resident. So mm. we did um, appoint one for the company. Mm -hmm. and, um, once this appointment was, we provided the client with the, with the nominee director's due diligence documents to review mm. and approve. And once this was done, the engagement was basically complete. All right. Uh, all right. Let's move on then. So you were saying something was time consuming. Would you say that's like the challenge? Like, were there any uh, specific challenge or obstacles that you faced during this part of the engagement that you were doing? If there were any of them? I guess for the on the client side, um, because the clients are based in South Africa, Mm -hmm. So I think it's only difficult or time, not difficult, but time consuming part of the engagement was for them to get a notary to certify their passports mm -hmm. um, in South Africa and then send them to, to Hong Kong. Uh, I see. Okay. Uh, yeah. So like it, would, it was a pretty easy like solution. Like how, how did you overcome this then? Like this issue? Well, the client was very cooperative. Um, mm. They didn't give any problems. They just, um, as much as it took a little bit longer than normal for them to courier the document, get the documents signed and courier them to Hong Kong, mm -hmm. uh, it didn't take more than a month for us to complete this whole engagement. Uh, okay. Yeah. That's, that's not too bad then. Um, what is usually normal time frame, just out of curiosity? Well, if the client is based in Asia, um, it would take a much shorter time to query documents to Hong Kong because the mm -hmm. time frame is, is it's very simple. It's a very simple procedure. Mm -hmm. um, just signing the documents and sending them to Hong Kong um, takes about a week. Mm -hmm. And uh, appointing a, com a new company secretary and a change of registered office address also takes a day to uh... complete. Right. Okay, that seems... So, because as long as the documents have been filed with the registrar, 
the, the changes are complete unless the government comes back or the registrar comes back and, and says something is missing or mm. uh, there's documentation that's required or some information. Otherwise, normally it's quite a straightforward engagement. Okay, cool, cool. Yeah. So uh, from this engagement, what were some of the highlights and key takeaways for you, if there are any of them? Um, well, well, one thing I could mention is that um, mm. taking over a company from a different company, a different mm. corporate secretarial firm, mm. the only difficulty would be if the client had not completed paying off some fees or settled everything with the previous company secretary, then right, that would right. bring in a complication because then the corporate secretary would not release the files. But in mm. this case, um, everything was settled. So I believe, as I mentioned before, it was pretty straightforward. So you're pleasantly surprised by how every, uh, everything went really smoothly for this engagement. Yeah, I wasn't surprised. I, I actually expected <laughs> it to go smoothly. Uh -huh, uh -huh. <laughs> yes, there was some something um, unusual happened, which in this case, nothing mm. unusual happened. Well, it's a, it sounds like everything is, is done and it's, it sounds like it's really smooth and everything. Well, thank you for your time and efforts today. Um, I hope you have a lovely Tuesday. Grace, thank you.